What's going on everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will be discussing the release of 0.50 Experimental. This is the first version of it that was released on October 1st. There is a new town, rabbit snare, new animations and more. I did also want to say that this is like I said the first version of it released. As Experimental updates more stuff will be added to 0.50. And uh, yeah, right now we're just covering the first version of it, which was released on October 1st. So just keep that in mind. If you're watching this a little bit later than that, uh, maybe a few weeks later, then more stuff has been added and I've probably made a few more videos talking about them. But let's get into this one and talk about what's been released today. All right, so let's get into something that all of you will notice as soon as you jump into this update and that is the new running animation. So as you can tell right there, it looks a lot different. Kind of looks like your character is leaning forward a bit. Uh, and here it is in slow motion, as you can see. Again, it's really different from uh, the old animation. Some people still like the old animation, but maybe they just need to get used to this one, just like the rest of us. And as you can see, like I said, it looks different. So. Uh, let me know your thoughts, I think it's just a matter of getting used to this one, uh, but it's definitely way different from uh, how it used to be. Alright, so moving on, we have Drowning. So Drowning was kind of already in the game, I would say it was pretty buggy uh, to begin with, but right now it looks like it's kind of been fixed up, it actually makes a little bit of sense now. So as you just saw there, I went prone into the water, and soon here you'll see the messages start popping up saying that I'm running out of air and I'm starting to drown. So it doesn't actually take that long, you'll see here, there it is, it starts telling me I'm running out of air. And right now I'm not taking any damage, so I could just stand up and be okay. Uh, but if you do end up staying, it will say I'm going to drown. And that's when you start taking damage, and then eventually you will die from it. Alright, so what we have next is the new one-handed holding animation. So you can see me here using the flashlight to uh, show off this animation. Uh, this is also uh, done with a pistol, so if you're holding a pistol, uh, it will now look uh, different. You will hold it in one hand, uh, like I'm doing right there with the flashlight. So, pretty cool animation overall. I am liking this one. And then nothing too crazy here, but just a little bit of an addition that people did find kind of interesting, which is these power poles right near the railways uh, all over the map basically. So you can see this one is right outside of Tarovo. And uh, yeah, like I said, not a you know big crazy addition, but just a little detail that they did end up adding with this update. So since we're already talking about Tarovo, let's talk about the prison in Tarovo that has been removed now in this update. So. Uh, a lot of you probably used to come here when you're on the northern east side of the map, uh, including me. I come here all the time, or at least I used to, and yeah, the prison has been removed. Uh, not sure exactly the reason behind that, but the prison has been removed from Turovo. Uh, this used to be the only prison really up in this area of the map. Uh, after they removed them from northeast, this was added here, and now this has also been removed. There is also a uh, little addition that I did want to talk about, and right here you can see we're inside of Cherno, uh, and this is talking about the new doors on the pub. It looks like these are pretty similar to the ones that were inside of the Daisy mod, uh, but yeah, doors now inside of the pub. Uh, you can see basically every room has a uh, door as well. Also, I did want to discuss the rabbit snare, which you see right there, and the new zombies. So there is a recipe for the rabbit snare, which is sticks and rope. That's all you need to make this. And the new zombie, of course, we we have been talking about, uh, is now in 0.50 experimental. So now let's talk about something that has been added to the game with this update and that is a new town just west of Novo in between Novo and Severograd, it's Severgino and this actually has a dam in it. So this dam I've heard is brought back from the Daisy mod and it's called the Pepeda uh, Dam. You can see it's a pretty good size, you can get a drink from it on the other side 
uh, actually with being on the bridge, which is kind of weird. I think it's something they may need to fix uh, right there. But this town is a pretty good sized town, actually. I was surprised. I thought this is going to be a small little town with just a few houses. But you'll see how far we just end up uh, going into this. And it almost takes us all the way to Severograd. After you finish this town, there isn't too far left until you make it uh, to Severograd. So all that open uh, that was there between... Novo and Severograd is now basically where this town is. Uh, we go deeper into it, there's a lot of uh, those, you know, greenhouses, the red houses, uh, which do spawn pretty good uh, loot food wise and stuff like that. Kind of interesting here, they kind of, it looks like they kind of changed uh, the mountain area, uh, added a little bit of a uh, dirt road down to the dam on the other side, but we'll keep going into town here and you'll see. Uh, there's actually also a castle way at the end of this town. Uh, by the time I make it there, I ended up losing a ton of blood. And the reason for that is, in this update, you actually end up uh, starving and also getting uh, thirsty way quicker than you used to. So, uh, for me, it seemed like every time I spawned in, I would uh, pretty much at least get to red hunger before I was able to find any uh, cans of food. Uh, so you do end up getting hungry much quicker in this update and also uh, getting thirsty much quicker. And it looks like the development team is actually trying different things and just trying to see what they can do to make this as balanced as possible. So right now it looks like they've amped it up a little bit and you go really hungry really quick. So a lot of you, if you do end up trying uh, this experimental, you will notice that really quick. Uh, but let, we're going deeper into down here and I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end where I end up making it up to that castle so I can show you guys what that looks like. So here we are, this is pretty much where this town ends and at the top here, at the top of the hill, there is a uh, destroyed castle, pretty cool looking. Uh, it's actually right next to a few houses which is pretty interesting but as you can see blood isn't doing too well at this point. I am uh, dying of starvation and dying of dehydration so uh, what I was talking about earlier with going hungry much quicker and uh, starting to starve and also uh, dehydrating and how that also happens quicker now you can see that on the screen right now so i would like to end this here and i do want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these types of videos it would be appreciated if you hit that like button to show your support and be sure to let me know what you think of this update so far down in the comments again this is the first uh, version of the update so of course uh, throughout the weeks more stuff will be added to this update maybe stuff taken away who knows but thank you so much for watching Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time.